Hey guys, so I first got my Panasonic T7, which I'm shooting on right now, two years ago, and the first and only lens I bought for it was the Rokinon 8mm fisheye lens. And if you're still trying to decide to buy it, I guess I can tell you why I purchased it for myself, and hopefully that'll help you out. So, <clears throat> when I first got the Panasonic camera, I wanted to use it to film skateboarding, and I don't know how much you know about sports and stuff, but when you're skateboarding, like a really like wide lens is good for when you're doing like close up, like right up under them shots. So that was the first lens I got, like as soon as I got the camera, I got this lens. And the reason I got it, another reason is because um, the price wasn't bad, like compared I don't know if you've seen the prices of like, like not like off brand Panasonic, like, <laughs> or just like, you know what I'm saying, like really expensive or more well known brands, like their lenses cost a lot of money. And I wasn't trying to spend that much. And when I got that, it was, I believe, $259 plus tax, plus a three year warranty. It came out to. Uh, a little either 300 or a little bit over so that which wasn't bad for me at all I was like yes like I want this and here we go and I knew that since it was like you know less than a thousand dollars which is like I don't know how people will like pay for those lenses but anyway since I knew it was cheaper I knew that it'd be manually like all the controls are manual and I have to like set up the lens on this camera like differently like I can't just like put it on and this and that and it'll be good to go no I had to like well now that I shoot in like a different mode I can just take this lens and put it on and like I'm ready to go but before I had to like learn that um, with a different setting you had to pick in the camera shoot without lens or else like this was not gonna be like you you weren't gonna be able to use it <laughs> So yeah, um, it's been a good time with the lens. I kind of stopped filming a bit since 2015, but then I started again, like, hmm, I would say towards the end of last year and like a lot, a lot this year, like especially in the summertime. And so I don't need this lens anymore. I shoot, if you watch any of my videos, I shoot um, vlogs and I have a GoPro now, so this is quite cumbersome for me and like I haven't used it in a while so I already sold it on eBay <laughs> but yeah for those who are like needing to start like and you're like busy trying to decide I say just pick this lens up and like use it <clears throat> if you don't like it you know you just return it because that's what you can do um, where I got mine from B&H and right now, it's still the same price on B&H's website and in the store. And I looked on eBay and there's like, basically there's one that will come out to the same amount as if you went, as if you went to um, B&H to go get it. So you can either hit any of those links in the description below to pick up this lens and get started. Like, don't wait guys, don't wait to like, oh, I need this one, I need that, I need to do a bunch of research just like, Pick it up, <coughs> and if you don't like it, give it back. That's it. I think you guys know that, like, or if you don't know, getting started is more important than, like, what you have. But if you truly, truly want a fisheye, I think you should pick this up. it be your starter fisheye lens, and then as you get better, and if you actually use it, you can, like, upgrade to another one. But, yeah, guys, um, that'll be all for today. Or right now in this video and if you enjoyed it like you know like the video if not you know sorry and like leave comments below if you have any questions because I know this wasn't really a review it's just like why I bought the lens and like yeah you just need to get started guys all right litty titty out